Hey guys, welcome back to Forex Boat. This is Kirill Romenko, and today we've got a couple of things. Actually, two things. First, I wanted to show you a tour of my favorite uh, city in the world, or just a quick sneak peek. And uh, this is Brisbane, Australia. Have a look. So, voila. So that is Brisbane right there. You can see how uh, the city, the city downtown area, and also you can see all these cranes. You can see crane, 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 crane. Like probably. I don't know I can count like 20 cranes behind me right now and the city is booming city is growing really fast so if you haven't been here <laughs> it's gonna change a lot compared to what you saw now so just a quick tour uh, to show you around great city come visit uh, it's uh, it's awesome place uh, very very nice weather very uh, very friendly people and uh, just great city second thing I wanted to say uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit about money management so um, one of the members of the Forex Boat Trading Academy, uh, Tom, Tom, if you're watching this, uh, big shout out to you, um, raised the question of using a fixed percentage of your balance uh, for your trades instead of a fixed lot. So on one hand, you can say, I'm trading with 0.1 lots or with one lot today or this year or for this strategy, I'm going to be using two lots or something like that. Or you can say, I'm going to be using 2% of my balance on every trade uh, with this strategy or 3% uh, of my balance this month or something like that. So um, I've already talked about this quite a few times in, in articles and also in, uh, uh, in our courses, but at the same time, I wanted to make this video because I cannot stress this enough. Using a percentage, a fixed, a fixed percentage of your balance for your trades can be very, very risky. And not just because um, you're, you know, you're risking, uh, the, the risk increases with every step that you take, every, every time you make a profit, next time, even though the percentage is fixed, the amount of money that you're risking can be, uh, is, is growing. Uh, there's actually another reason for that it's risky and that is the Larry Williams method trap. So what you're basically doing by using a fixed percentage is you're invoking the Larry Williams money management method. Again, we talk about that uh, more in our money management course. Um, but the Larry Williams money management tr uh, trap is um, considered to happen when, for instance, uh, if you say you're using 5% of your balance, so that's that amount. Next time you, you made some money, it's a greater amount. 5% is going to be a greater amount. Next time you make some money, it's going to be a greater amount. It's going to be a greater amount every time. But then when you finally do have a loss, and because we're um, following kind of like a statistical approach to trading, losses are kind of inevitable when you do have a loss is going to be greater than your previous profit. So it's going to eat into your previous profit and actually eat into the profit before that. And depending on your percentage, it can eat into that profit and more and more and more. So it's a, it's a very uh, dangerous thing to use. So like if you have a very low balance, you just want to speed up the growth and you want to risk a lot, then maybe. But otherwise, it's not a great idea. I will give you an example. Uh, especially if you're combining multiple uh, strategies at once, if you're, for example, if you're trading with robots. Um, one time I was trading with uh, like several strategies and they all had this loss on, on a Monday or something like that uh, at the same time. And I lost 60% of my balance in one night. So when I went to you know bed, I had X amount of money on my account. And then when I woke up, 60% of my balance was lost. And so that it can be a very, very risky thing to do. Um, a, an alternative to that approach is kind of a stepwise increase in your uh, percentage. So taking into consideration the Kelly criterion and the Ryan Jones money management method. So those are another two methods that we talk about in the uh, money management course. So if you haven't checked it out, definitely check out that course. But otherwise, just be careful of risking or putting on the line a fixed percentage of your balance with every trade. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Until then, happy trading.